Hi everyone, D'Anthony Trumpet Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new Pharmacon record, Bestial Burden. Pharmacon is the musical project of noisemaker Margaret Chartier. She is on her second full-length album here for Sacred Bones Records, a label that kind of took a risk signing her because she toys with a genre that the label doesn't necessarily uh, cater to all the time. That genre being power electronics, one of the most harsh, unforgiving, and difficult subgenres in modern music. The only thing grosser than Margaret's music are her album covers. <gasps> Maggots. But also making it difficult to get into this music, a lot of people who make power electronics are incredibly prolific. They will drop limited run editions of their music onto tape. The live performances of this music are often freakish and very loud, very ear piercing. It's not the kind of scene that tries to cater to the average music listener, whether that comes to its sound, the way these people structure their albums, the way they market themselves and get their music out there. So it's interesting to see an artist like Margaret, who is in this genre, making so much headway, though I would argue her music is not 100% power electronics, not even close really. There's a mix of death industrial and just industrial noise in there as well. All genres and labels aside, Mar Margaret makes tortured, hellish music with very shrill, demonic screams, cavernous reverb, heavy, primal percussion, and some searingly loud electronics. It is not pleasant, but for someone who enjoys harsh, overwhelming, dissonant, and sometimes disorienting music, it is only sometimes that Pharmacon reaches that benchmark and then is able to hold on to it. Take the song Intent or Instinct, for example. As noisy as this song is, it gets pretty mundane pretty fast. It reaches a certain level of intensity with its very simple rhythms, with its cycling feedback loop that plays over and over and over and over, and the vocals too, but then once it reaches that point, it just plateaus. For the duration of the track, we get no significant progression or variation that leads the song to get more intense or more interesting. It's sort of like jumping into a scalding hot bathtub, only for it to get cold just a minute or two later. I feel the same way about the track Autoimmune, and as far as the title track on this thing goes, it's got some pretty simple but also dark backing instrumentation, which only serves as a very bland foundation for Margaret's vocal freakout on the song, which to me wasn't even really that blood-curdling, not as much as other tracks here, not as much as tracks off of her debut record for Sacred Bones. Though I really did like the noisy, intense finish of this track. There are essentially four meaty songs on this record, <laughs> but then there are two other more inconsequential interlude tracks, one of which kicks the record off. It doesn't sound that bad, but one is kind of like a series of chokes, coughs, it sounds almost as if Margaret is making herself gag or throw up and is just recording the audio. And then she kind of set a rhythm to it. In my opinion, the best track on this entire record is Body Betrays Itself. And that's mostly because it has the most significant progression out of any song. Not only that, but the electronics on this thing just have this beautiful metallic ringing quality to them that is just really ear piercing. The vocals are frightening and the rhythms are really nice. They're pummeling, they flow in a really fluid manner. There's something about the groove and just the lumbering quality of this track that reminds me of like some early swan stuff. It's moments like this where Pharmacon gets particularly twisted and Margaret's moans are like really, really anguished. The wall of electronics on this track is huge. It's massive. This is the only moment on the record that in my opinion, the aesthetic, the quality of the aesthetic, is met by the quality of the composition. And that's a meeting that doesn't happen on the other tracks here, in my opinion. Pharmacon has style, but most of these tracks don't contain enough detail to keep the emotional intensity high. I'm feeling a decent to strong five on this record, Tran. Zition, if you've given this album a listen, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And that's it. Anthony Fantano. Music, Pharmacon, scary, scary, forever.